you, Elena. Back to our top story. We're still following that deadly shooting aboard a Greyhound bus at the base of the grapevine early this morning. Yeah, and just minutes ago, we learned a little bit more about the details leading up to that shooting mm -hmm. and how some of the victims are recovering now. 23 ABC's Daniela Garrido joins us live from the scene with the very latest. Daniela. CHP Fort Chahone just held a press conference a couple of moments ago at 11 a.m. And I think the major theme of that press conference and something that they've actually been hinting at all morning is that the passengers and the driver played a really heroic and instrumental part in de-arming that, that, that person of getting off of the bus and getting him away from the passengers. I'm going to move out of the way here so you can... Take a look at that Greyhound bus again. 43 passengers were on this bus. It was going from LA to the Bay Area. And right now we know that one 51 year old woman identified as Colombian by her passport is dead. Uh, one Hispanic male is undergoing surgery right now as we speak at Kern Medical. Another woman is in critical condition. Three others have moderate injuries. Now CHP saying they still don't know the motive behind me behind this, but saying that this was not an act of terror. Um, just to recap, if you are just tuning in. This happened around 1.30 this morning. One of the passengers on board of this Greyhound bus made a 911 call saying that another passenger on the bus had fired shots. Again, CHP saying that the passengers and the driver were really heroic, instrumental in getting the shooter off of the bus. They left him on the northbound of the I-5 and that's when the Greyhound bus driver continued to drive northbound, get off on the next exit and that's where he parked here at the Valero gas station and they were able to assess the medical conditions of those passengers. As more information becomes available, we will continue to update you on our website, turn to 23.com. For now, we're live in Lebec, Daniela Garrido, 23 ABC News, connecting you.